Hey guys, Mr. D Skillet for another installation video. Um, this is me expecting you've downloaded or watched my first video, and uh, I've already got all the other mods installed. And this one is gonna be Mob Builder. So Mob Builder is like these little people that walk around and they build stuff. So first, you're gonna want to go to this link. Scroll down here. Um, you're gonna want to keep scrolling and it got this kind of a fail how this guy makes you do this but keep scrolling down then you're gonna find a download link so you're gonna wanna click this link so it's gonna be in a zip file I believe yeah and then you're gonna wanna unzip it my computer does it automatically so then you're gonna wanna go to 303 mod which I'll also put a link on you're gonna wanna go to spawn list utility library download spawn list for minecraft Okay, now those are both in your download folder. You're going to want to open up your finder. Go to Nick Library Application Support. So, Library. Here, I'll do it all out for you guys. Application Support, down to Minecraft, Minecraft.jar, and then you're going to just want to put spawnless.class. Simple. It's probably the easiest thing you'll ever do. If you can't do this, you kind of fail paste it right into minecraft.jar then you're going to want to open up builder mod 0 underscore 52 um, I don't know what yours is going to be called but that's what mine's called so then when it says input into jar you're going to want to go like this select these then you're going to want to unselect mob which you can do by hitting command click and then get all of these hit copy go to the minecraft.jar Hit paste. And then where it says mob, you open up that folder. And then how it says all these little goofy little square things. Um, that's Minecraft's way of showing you what a cobble and brick builder looks like. Uh, you copy those items. Go into the Minecraft.jar. And then simply go down to mob. So once I finally found the mob folder, which you can kind of get kind of crazy you open paste all the items so once those are all pasted you move down to the other parts so it's got this which is put into bin and then it's building configuration dot text builder configuration dot text whatever go up to your minecraft dot jar and then how it says bin and then into the bin you're gonna wanna click on it paste item now it's right there in your bin folder. Okay, and then that is a. That's it. Yeah. All right. So then you're gonna want to open up your Minecraft application after quitting it, and then opening it again. Minecraft will load like it typically does. Single player. I'm just gonna start a new world. Um. So I already have some mods installed. I don't want to walk around looking for a builder. This mod's a lot like Mine Colony if you have that. Except, Just kidding, I don't have to walk around looking for a builder. So how these guys build is basically they stand there and they take out their little piece of paper and then they kind of like look around, see if the land's flat, and then they're like, alright, the land's flat. So then they just build there. So they can't build in water. Pretty simple. So I've got three guys over here. When you get close enough, it's just like multiplayer, except they don't talk to you, and they're stupid. Um, so this guy, Chaos the Brick Builder. So he's probably going to start building right there. Maybe not. Uh, John the Brick Builder and William the Brick Builder. So as you can see, he's building a little brick home. It's pretty cool. They kind of fail at double doors. Uh, I don't know why. You can simply break their doors and then place them back. They don't really get mad at you or anything. Uh, kind of cool. They would kind of suck if they got mad at you. Um, I don't know why they suck with double doors. Uh, hopefully it gets fixed. But as you can see, I suck with double doors too. So I'm um, expecting you to know how. So I'm just going to wait until he finishes his house. Which they do it completely standing still. You can't hurt them while they're building or while they're thinking. Um, occasionally, 
you'll get some sick builder that'll put like furnaces and chests in and in those furnaces and chests will be items like ice or you can't obtain normally which is pretty cool uh they also if you spawn a mayor which i have sp command so i'm just gonna do spawn mayor and then advance the mayor spawn so basically if you have a mayor and then you can do spawn trader these traders are like the best thing you'll ever meet in your whole entire life because they will do rip off trades. So they always have trades available, one for coal, one for gold, one for diamond, and one for iron. You can trade them like diamond for a golden apple, which is pretty freaking awesome because a golden apple is like the rarest thing in the world. And for diamond, uh, that's totally worth it in my opinion. That's it. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. See ya.